If you look at all of my race cars back to the early uh, 70s when I started racing in Australia, I always carried the St. Christopher logo on the side of my cars. If you look, I wear them, two of them around my neck. Over the years to make room for corporate America, well, you know how that works, even my name went from big to small. We had an opportunity because I was lining up crooked on the start line when we went to the new Chevrolet. It had a panoramic view different than the old Ford Mustangs. <clears throat> so my visual was different and I kept lining up crooked. So they said, hey, let's put a side out front. And one of my crew chiefs, can I handle this? And I said, sure. And he put a St. Christopher right in the middle of it. But it was still a siding that I had to look down the racetrack. So the good Lord worked again. And so did St. Christopher. started, I would get the drivers out of the cars, uh, but we really wouldn't get the time until I got down to the booth down there, so I started writing this down, so to give them the information right as they got out, as I got out of the car, so they, when they interviewed, they know what they ran. Uh, it started here, I guess, seven years ago, <laughs> something like that. When I started, no, when I started doing this, I was the first one to start doing this, now the other teams start doing it, so I guess, I guess I started a trend, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely, and John Forrest also very excited. A couple weeks ago, he told me he was walking around the shop, saw some pictures on the wall, and decided he and Robert Hyde should just go ahead and switch teams, crew chiefs, the whole nine yards. And it's paid off, number one. How did you guys turn it around so quickly after struggling in Phoenix? Well, like I said, there's no magic wand. You know, that young lady, Amanda, the TV announcer, said, did I find the music? It's all about heart. It's all about the music. Right now, we're Lloyd T. Robert's number two. I hope that the lady keeps singing. That's what I hope, because I'm feeling really good about today. But you know, it's another day. Qualifying's over now, it's race day. You know, John's the king of, you know, just switching things up and, you know, making some changes and kind of kind of put us both back in familiar territory. Um, I spent, you know, 10 years working with Jimmy Proc as my crew chief, and we won a lot of races together. And he was with Mike Neff for quite a while. So, um, you know, things were, Things weren't perfect, and we decided to just move things around. And you can see it's paid off for both sides. Uh, we're number one, number two qualifier. And you know, I'm, I'm pretty fortunate. How many guys can say that they've uh, worked for Mike Neff and Jimmy Proc? I was walking through the shop, and I saw all these signs in my museum in, in, in Brownsburg, Indiana. And I saw Robert Height in the winner's circle with Jimmy Proc. Now, I'd won a championship with Jimmy Proc. I also won with Mike Neff. <clears throat> but it only made sense to me to put Jimmy back where that team really jived well. In turn, that meant moving me, and Mike Neff came over and went back to running my hot rod. That was the only reason for it, trying to team up people that had worked together that worked. John Force takes the win. 3.916, so the peak team races on. <clears throat> Come on, Fox, let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm bleeding over here. They don't hear me. It's right after this pair. Okay. <laughs> Ready, John? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. John, believe it or not, it's your 38th race here in Gainesville. You will take on a guy that it's his first race. How will your experience help get the win today? Well, I'm alive. I'm, I'm bleeding out here, but my old brain trust, 
Neff and John Schaefer and all these kids and, 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 and Jimmy Proc. It's all come together finally. This whole Chevrolet is starting to run. But Hermes, it's about us. It's about the older generation. We can still do this. That Swede's probably mad at me right now because I was looking at hiring him, but I took Austin Brock. Got to get the family back in here. But we're alive, and my old hot rod is starting to show signs of life. It ain't one yet, but it don't matter. It don't matter. Get me to my medication. Where's my medication? So we had a, a fan reach out to Courtney uh, a few months ago, sent, wrote a letter to her, and Courtney gave it to me, and he wanted to ask his girlfriend at the time to marry him in Courtney's pit area. So he said, okay, sure, and Courtney was all for it. So he and I communicated back and forth several times, and we're able to work it out. <laughs> I love coming to the Gator Nationals, love John Force Racing, and uh, a great way to end the weekend. <laughs> That win was huge, exciting. Neff was making great calls, him and Schaefer, and uh, out of it, we got the Wally. A little gal came up to me at Gainesville. Certain things really stand out. She had a message she wanted to give me. Her name was Haley. <clears throat> and she said, Mr. Forrest, you know, there was a big fan of yours named Bill. Uh, she gave me something and I carried it in my pocket. She gave him a sticky note with one of her favorite veterans that just passed away at the VA in Orlando and wanted a race in his honor and he kept the sticky note in his pocket. We go to the Lake Nona VA and I found two, two to three guys who love drag racing. Um, Bill Suggs, he loved John Force. He'd come, in, he'd come into the bingo room someday going, man, Kelly, I can't believe it. Robert Height just beat John Force. Just beat his own boss. And I go, that happens in drag racing all the time, Bill. Well, he passed away in August before I could ever get the sig a signature for him, and I asked John Force if he could race for him. He said yes, we wrote his name down on one of my dad's business cards. And simply, he put it in his pocket and kept it there the whole day. She just can't believe it. Today and was just the emotional one, that she wanted done something for somebody else, not for not for herself. It, was, it wasn't about the signatures or anything, it was about doing something for her veterans and her heroes and that she's so proud of. We were in the stands during the finals, and as soon as I seen them pass the finish line, I was jumping up and down screaming, they won, they won, they won. I just couldn't believe it. And had no idea that we would end up at John Force's uh, ceremony. It took us forever to get to the winner's circle. Didn't even know how to get there. And she, he seen her when he come out and actually pulled it out of his pocket, the business card, and had that on there. And, as a father, first and foremost, he's made my baby happy, so my heart's happy, and he's just an incredible guy. I know it was important to her. I could see the smile on her face from here to here. Awesome. 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 Awesome.